The Lubbock Arts Festival takes over the Civic Center this weekend. This is the 45th celebration of West Texas culture, including everything from painting to music to literature. This year's theme is The Beat Goes On, and KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez joins us from the Lubbock Memorial Civic Center with a peek inside the Arts Festival. Joshua. <laughs> Yeah, Karen and Amber, I'm here at the Civic Center where the Lubbock Arts Festival will officially kick off at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And the, the theme for this year's festival is The Beat Will Go On, which is very appropriate considering there will be multiple bands performing at the festival, including the Mains Brothers Band. There will also be a mariachi performance as well as some other performances. Now, while we've been here, we've gotten a bit of a sneak peek about what will be presented this year. And there really is something out here for everyone. I spoke with the executive director of the Lubbock Art Alliance, Elizabeth Grigsby, and she told me all about what's going to be out here at this festival this year. We have artists from around the nation showing and selling their artwork, painting, photography, jewelry making, you name it, there's an artist out here doing it. We have a robust children's art area with all sorts of great free make and take activities. We have a demonstrating artist area, and we have special exhibits that go along with our musical theme. Now, one of those music-themed exhibits is this signed, sealed, de and delivered ex exhibition that is actually making its world debut right here in Lubbock. This is made up of 60 pieces of rock and roll history. It, has, uh, it highlights the careers of artists like Jimi Hendrix, um, Janis Joplin, Fleetwood Mac, along with others as well. Now, again, the Art Festival kicks off tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., 10 to 6 on Saturday, 12 to 5 on Sunday. Tickets are $5 for adults. Anyone under 12 years old gets in for free, so make sure you get the whole family out here to enjoy some music and some art that everybody can enjoy. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Joshua.